Hey guys, me like big boom here and welcome to unturned 3.15.8 Point oh. Today's update actually came a day early. It is Thursday today, which is a little bit weird. I don't think we've gotten an update on a Thursday before, but there's a little bit of reason behind it, because today actually marks the day where Unturned has been on the Steam platform for two years. Yes, that is right. It has been two years since Unturned has been greenlit, and that makes this week's update very special in that it is the anniversary update. Now, there were some super cool things added in this update, like an anniversary gift bag in a paintball arena map, but before we get into that, I'd like to go over some of the relatively minor additions. To start, a server queue was added. This is very useful for trying to join a server that is just constantly full all the time, and so when you try to connect to a full server, in this case 24 out of 24, you will be allowed to connect to it, but instead of actually loading into the game, you will be put in a queue position. And luckily, I am in queue position number one, so the instant somebody leaves inside the server, I will be dropped right inside and then the server will be full. That queue position is up to eight by default, but the queue size command tweaks that so you can set it to whatever you want. If I was in queue position eight, then the person in number one would go in and then I would be shifted down to seven. And then if at any point I grow impatient, I don't wanna wait anymore, I can just click cancel and I'll be brought back to the server screen. It's very useful. I no longer need to spam this connect button and then as it says server is full and I gotta go back. It's, it's just nice not to have to do that anymore. In the advanced settings, we now have the option of tweaking the experience multiplier of zombies that came out of the beacon, and also tweaking the experience multiplier of zombies that spawn during a full moon. So I can set that to 20 times, that is absolutely insane, but you could still do that. And then also in the players category, we have the option of adjusting the armor multiplier. So if I set this to 0.5, all incoming damage to a player will be multiplied by 0.5. So in a nutshell, you basically have double health. And then the last thing you can change is you can now disable fall damage with this can hurt legs thing. I think that's a little glitch, but if I turn that off, players would no longer receive any fall damage. So that's very useful as well. If you are running a paintball map, by the way, it will be useful to turn that off in the server config file. You guys will see why when I actually join the server. Those are the two somewhat minor changes. Now let's check out the anniversary gift package. Now with any sort of gift package, like the Halloween gift package, the Christmas one, the grocery bag, and now the anniversary gift package, when you get these, you do not need a key to open them. It's very cool, they're just a little drop, and they only drop today. So hop on Unturned, play Unturned, hopefully you will get an anniversary gift package. But once you do, you don't need a key to open it. All you gotta do is press the unwrap button, and I only have one, I bought it for 80 cents in the market. The price will definitely go down, so don't spend 80 cents on these. But I'm gonna go ahead and open this and see what I get mythical no we got a blue of sorts look at how many items there are here though and we got a blue birthday party hat not bad not bad so basically <laughs> it's like a little cone it looks like the dunce hat in grand theft auto uh, but essentially, I'm going to show a little screenshot on the screen right now of the different items that are in the anniversary gift package. There are two types of items. There are the party hats and the origami hats. The origami hats look like little crowns, except they're made out of paper. And the origami and the party hats come in all sorts of different colors as the blue options, silver and gold as the next tier up, and also rainbow as the uh, kind of highest option. If you get a mythical, you can get any of these items in any sort of form as an origami or party hat, and it will have confetti spewing out of it so that's very cool as well there's actually a post already on reddit somebody already unboxed a mythical origami hat and you can see what the confetti looks like right here so shout out to that guy I don't remember his username but i'll put it on the screen right now now that I've got my awesome party hat, let's go join into the new paintball arena map. So if you want to join a paintball arena map, we're going to change the map to paintball arena right here. Refresh the internet. There's probably going to be a ton of servers just chock full of players. Boom Arena. That looks that looks promising for me. Let's join that one. <laughs> but essentially, this is a new arena map. We have Washington Arena. We have PI Arena. We have Monolith. We have all this junk. Except this one is it Q position 51? Oh my god. Okay, we're, we're gonna cancel that one. Okay, this one Q position 2. Okay, so what I was going on to say here is that this arena map is special and that it only- This guy's got a confetti! Look it, here's the confetti. Oh my gosh, this guy's got confetti spewing out of his hat. He has the same hat as me, except he got the mythical. 
Wow, this is a special arena map that only spawns paintball guns. Look at this. This is crazy. This looks like some place out of dreams. This is this is very unusual looking map with huge towers, all sorts of different things going between each other. And when we actually get in the server, we'll be able to uh, actually use some of the paintball guns. Now I'm gonna be a little honest with you, I am terrible with paintball guns in this game. I've tried it before. I'm not gonna be able to win this at all. I can guarantee it. Uh, but I'm still gonna try to have some good old fun here. What's unique about that paintball map here is that the lobby is actually just on this invisible floor overlooking the entire map, so I can watch this guy try and attack the guys over there or whatever. We're watching this whole thing unfold between two players here. You wouldn't normally be able to do this. This is an interesting way of, of handling spectating players. It's kind of cool. The wall also closes in. I'm pretty sure he's behind the wall here. Yeah, he just died. There we go. The wall actually killed him. <laughs> All right, here we go. Two seconds till we get in the game. Paintball guns always spawn right in front of every single spawn point. So that's the first place that you should look. I already see a guy. Is that a guy? Yeah. I don't think he's playing. This is cheap. At least I can get some free experience by shooting him. There I go, I got him, I got 100 experience. Let me just wait right here. We'll, up we'll upgrade some of our skills. We'll do um, exercise. There we go. Oh God. Why isn't this guy playing either? Okay. No, 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 no. Shoot him. Okay, I got him. Oh God, I'm, I'm really low on, on health. Uh, jump higher with less stamina. It's kind of laggy. There's just so many players on the server. Ten players left. Nine. Oh my gosh. It's so hectic. <laughs> but look at all the places you can run between. Oh, there's a guy down there. Oh, shoot. Oh my gosh. It's a lot easier to shoot in third person because you can kind of see exactly where the bullets are landing. Oh! Makes a little paint splatter. Alright, I'm going to move over here. I might have a better angle on him. Uh oh. I'm out of paintball hoppers. Shoot. I have to find some. Uh oh. Um, oh wait, I have this. Here we go. Here we go. Oh God. There we go, I got a headshot. God. Where's he gonna pop out? Here, that side? Okay, now I'm out of paintball hoppers. Now I need to find some. <laughs> um, shoot. Maybe there'll be some at the top of this blue building. Here's some. Oh no, 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 no! No! No, I fell! Oh no! Oh no, I'm terrible at parkour! No! Oh no, I died at my own hand. Oh, and I even saw a paintball hopper there. God dang it. But anyway, that is the paintball arena map. Remember, I'm not the best at paintball, but definitely in the future, I'll be sure to post some more. In the future, I'll be sure to post a more well-rounded arena gameplay video of this map that does pretty much wrap up everything that was added in Unturned 3.15.8.0. There were a few minor additions that weren't covered in this video, but if you guys like to check those out, as always, I'll put the full update post in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to rate, cop, and subscribe. And do all that to because we like big boom.
Peace out.